Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to explain something about the maturing process of being a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. I've noticed yeah, that this state likes to try mm -hmm, those that are 16 and 17 year olds as if they were adults when they're not. Mm -hmm. um, being 18 is a number, yes. Mm -hmm. The actual male and female mind does not mature until approximately the ages of 24 to 25 years old. Mm -hmm. Now, it's nice that schools want to introduce this thought, yes, of registering to vote, mm -hmm. but it's the actual responsibility of the adult to do that. Now, I have a real problem because from what I see, yes, the judicial system tries uh, minors as adults, yes, when they're not adults. Mm -hmm. And now you're introducing the concept that minors mm -hmm, that are not adults, mm -hmm, you're going to register them to vote before their male and female mind, yes, is mature enough to do their own registering as an 18-year-old. Now, the number 18 is a number. Mm -hmm. It's this arbitrary age that we decided as a population that you have these rights available to you. Yes. And it's your responsibility as an adult to decide that you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that you're a mature man or woman. <laughs> From the time that I was 17 to approximately mm, 23, 24 years old, yes, I moved 55 times, five different countries, 18 different cities. I didn't graduate from university until I was 30 years old because the truth of the matter was my male mind, yes, could not handle, yes, going to school every day in a college, yes, until I was 25 years old. And even then, I didn't mature, mature, mature until 30 years old. Now, what did happen through my maturing process, yes, is I became very staid in my approach to being an adult man. <clears throat> now, a lot of people don't like adult men, too, <clears throat> because I have a mature mind. <clears throat> and when you try minors as adults, it violates their rights as minors, yes, and as adults, yes. And when you put uh, minors in prison, yes, where the rest of the population is predominantly over the age of 18, yes, you recognize, right, that you are institutionalizing them. Pooped. Now, this is another form of institutionalization <clears throat> where you're going to teach, yes, temperance and being a good citizen, yes, to those that are under the age of 18 years old. Now, I really dislike the thought of school districts institutionalizing American students. <clears throat> The job was to teach them, pooch, as in you have a subject, yes, you have a certain amount of information that they're going to learn, yes, and then you're going to graduate them. That's your whole job, is that they're educated. Now, after the age of 18, and for the most part, graduation, whatever happens after that time, is up to the individual adult. Mm -hmm. Now, there looks like a lot of the institutionalization of the penitentiary system <clears throat> is being introduced into the school system art, in the ideology that you're preparing them for adulthood. Yes, they're going to have a plan for what they're going to do after high school. Yes, they're going to fit uh, these certain boxes. Right. And then you, mm -hmm, the educated, yes, are going to take control of the freedoms of being an adult American citizen. Now, my thought was, yes, mm -hmm, that as a mature adult man at 49 years old, yes, you have said that I committed crime when I didn't. You fraudulently used the mental health system. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that as a father, when I inform you of child abuse and neglect, yes, you seem to think that because you issued a court order, that you would obstruct my every right to speak into my sons about what it means to be an adult, yes, and then what it means to be a man. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a big difference in the actual neurological functions of the male mind. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Most men, mm -hmm, though they are adults, they are not mature. Yes. 
for some reason from the ages of approximately 17 to 25, yes, most of the crime happens in the United States of America. After the age of 25, most men and women no longer have any want to violate any laws. Yes. Now, if I looked at the actual demographics of those that are arrested, mm -hmm, jailed, or imprisoned, yes, from what I've studied, yes, there's this big disparity between what it means to be an adult and what it means to be a man or a woman. <clears throat> now, part of the process of maturing as a man and woman, yes, is it's your responsibility to register to vote. You know, we have a, a huge problem with the institutionalization of the actual citizens themselves. <laughs> and in my mind, your temperance and good citizenship day, yes, that happens on January 16th, yes, every year or if it's a non-school day the next friday yeah uh you know what happens after you're 18 yeah is really up to the individual adults now uh there's this this idea right <laughs> what does it mean to be an adult mm -hmm. well in the united states the actual definition is that you're 18 years of age yes now, that would be 18 years of age plus one day. Yes. Uh, at the time of voting, mm -hmm. you have to give yourself a day to register to vote. Yes, you do. There's no registering to vote before 18. No. No, no. Mm. Or at the time of the crime, yes. Uh, on that day and the day after uh, 18 plus one day, mm -hmm. you can be a tried as an adult for any crime of the United States of America. <laughs> Now, if this government and the United States government would appreciate that this arbitrary age, known as 18, has been used to decide the freedoms of American citizens, I would like to have enforced all the requirements of being an adult. Yes. One, you can register to vote. Yes. When you're 18. Pooch. Two, you can be tried as an adult when you commit a crime. Yes, it does. And you can stop. <laughs> yeah.